five basic things or more to consider before you start an event planning company in Nigeria. The first thing I would ask anyone is, why are you going into this? So why do you want to have, why do you want to be an event planner? Why do you want to start a, an event planning business? Is it because you're creative? Is it because you're passionate? Is it because you love paying attention to details? Is it because you love seeing the smiles on people's faces? You need to understand the why. Secondly, I would tell anyone that wants to plan, start an event planning company, you need to definitely have a vision. You need to know what your business is going to be about or what the business is. You can't just go into it and say, oh, you know what, I just love event planning, I'm going to do this. That's the second thing. The third one is look for people before you that are, are experts in their field. Try an intern with an event planning company just to even know if this is the main thing you want to do. I've had people come to Zafire, intern with us, and they realize, you know what, I don't want to do event planning. This is not for me. You need to identify that. So look for companies. There are companies that train. There are companies that offer free internships. Some even offer free internships at the weekends. Get into one of those companies and see if this is really, really what you want to do. Another basic thing that you need to consider is you need to have some skills. Now, these skills, you either train for these skills or these skills are in, inbuilt and you keep on learning. One of the basic skills an event planner has to have is good interpersonal skills. This also comes in nonverbal or verbal communication. You need to know a lot about verbal communication, the art of listening, the art of transcribing, you know, the art of when somebody tells you something, you know how to put it back, give it back to them. It's important. A lot of us actually don't listen when people speak. It's very important. That's a skill that I would say that you need to have. You need to also learn, know how to write. You're going to be writing a lot of proposals. You're going to be writing a lot, doing a lot of presentations. It's very important that you have those, you know, good presentation skills. Another skill that you need to have is having good relationship skills with people. <laughs> Relationships actually save event planners. That's, those are some of the things that have saved us. You know, like having good relationships with our vendors. Because vendors are your backbone. You can't be an island. You need to have vendors. And I'm going to talk about something else later when we speak. So another skill that you need to have, and in fact, this is a lot of skills that you need to have as an event planner. You need to be creative. You need to pay attention to detail. You need to have good diplomatic skills. You have to have good people skills. You have to, you have to be very focused. It's very, very important. Ah, pricing. Another basic skill. Somebody wants to go and start an event planning company. You don't even know how to, you are going to charge. How are you going to charge? It's very important to ask questions. Will it be a percentage? Or will it be a flat fee? Or will it be, will it be a mix of both? That is one basic skill. Though. <laughs> one basic thing that you need to have to order to start an event planning company in Nigeria. And um, have you thought of registering your business? A lot of people do this. They don't register the business. They have a name. They have an idea. And then when they go to CAC to register, they find out that the name has been taken. So have you thought of that process? There are many legal requirements to also start in a business, an event planning business in Nigeria. From your legal, which is um, um, your um, getting your business name, registering it, your taxes, getting ready to meet the tax man. Yes, they are there. They are waiting for you. It's very, very important. You know? So there are many, many different things. So you need to consider all that in order to start an event planning company in Nigeria.